I wasn't there and I don't know what happened, but my guess is that you and I did this exercise once before that you very, uh, I thought, rather bravely put on YouTube and upset. The lesson from that exercise, and I imagine, and very often, or take my reaction at the airport, and I imagine perhaps your reaction this morning, and I can't say this for sure because I wasn't there, but very often we don't react to what happens, we react to an interpretation of what happens. Your partner did or didn't say or do something, and then you had a certain interpretation of that, and then you react to that interpretation. So I imagine that may have happened, but more generally speaking, so then you're in this dilemma. If I fully express what I feel, I'm gonna maybe hurt her and hurt the relationship, or hurt them and hurt the relationship. But if I don't, then I'm not being authentic. So what do I do? I mean, I think that's the dilemma that you're posing here. It goes back to very early in childhood because we have these two needs that I've identified. One of them is for attachment. Attachment meaning our need for connection and closeness with another person for the sake of being taken care of or for the sake of taking care of the other. So when I talked about these brain circuits of Dr. Panksepp, the care system is designed for you and I to take care of the vulnerable, our young, our very old ones, our sick ones. There's a system in our brain with its own brain chemicals and its own circuits that are designed to help us care for one another. That's essential for no mammal would survive without that. We also have a system for what he calls grief and panic, and that's what we experience when we don't get that care, you know? So we're wired to attach for the sake of survival, and no creature is more dependent, more vulnerable, more immature than a human infant compared to any other animal. So our dependence is absolute. So our need to attach is absolute. But we have another need as creatures and as human beings, which is to be authentic. Now, I don't mean any kind of new age hoo-hoo concept by this. I mean, know, knowing what we feel and being able to how to act on what we feel. So, you know, as, as you know, we evolved um, out there in nature. How long does any creature in nature survive if they don't know what their gut feelings are telling them? Not very long. Not very long. That authenticity, which comes from the word auto for self, knowing ourselves and manifesting ourselves is an also essential need. That's fine. But what happens if a child experiences emotions that the environment says, uh-uh, we won't accept you with that. That can happen through abuse, but it can also happen through well-meaning parents who read the parenting advice of a lot of experts, including some that I think you've had on your program, who, who will tell you that when a kid is angry, they should be made to sit by themselves. Wait, let's name some names here. <laughs> well, <it's, laughs> who, who are we talking about? Jordan Peterson says that in his book, 12 Rules for Life. Ah. Uh. An angry child should be made to sit by themselves until he says they come back to normal. In other words, anger in a child is not normal. And the message to the child is, you're not acceptable when you have that emotion. Mm. Now, now the child is a dilemma. I can be authentic, but then they're gonna exclude me. That's gonna threaten my attachment relationship. Or I can suppress my authenticity and then I'll have the attachment. Now, what do you think gets sacrificed 100% of the time? Authenticity. The authenticity gets sacrificed. And then we spend the rest of our lives trying to figure out who the heck we are. And uh, that suppression of authenticity has severe mental and physical health implications from autoimmune disease to malignancy to depression. Take, for example, something like called depression. What does it mean to depress something? Literally, what does it mean? Push down. To push it down. Depression is not this inherited brain disease. It's a result of having to push oneself down, push down one's emotions as a child. 